simple three chord song. Um, so on the record, it's detuned by a half step. So you'd bring everything down to, so this would be E flat or D sharp. And this would be A flat or G sharp. And this would be D flat or C sharp. And this would be G flat or F sharp. And this would be B flat or A sharp. And this would be E flat or D sharp. Live, she doesn't bother. She just sings it up the, so it's in standard tuning live. So you can just play it in standard tuning if you want. But if you want it to sound like the original, and the chords sound kind of nice, like a little, a little lower, a little deeper. Um, okay, I'll show you a couple different variations. But like I said, it's a really simple song. There'll be a chord chart uh, available at my Patreon link in the description. So. Um, um, the three chords that you need are C, regular old C. You could add the pinky on the, on the third fret of the high E. Um, G, I was playing like this. So um, this is third finger on the third fret of the low of the sixth string, pinky on the third fret of the high string, and I'm just muting the fifth string, but you could play the second fret on the fifth string. It's a more standard G, like that. Um, I'm doing this kind of open one. And then F, so I'm playing F like this. I'm hooking my thumb around to play the first fret on the low E string. I'm putting my first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the A, and um, pinky on the third fret of the D. And then I let the high E string be open, and mostly I don't play it, but sometimes it sneaks in there and that's fine. Um, if you hate playing with your thumb wrapped around or just can't physically, you could just play, you could play a regular like bar chord F, or you could play like this kind of F where you just, then the only challenge is you don't want to play the low E string. So you could just play everything except the, the thumb like this. First finger, second finger, third finger, pinky. Um, but then you just have to avoid that low E string or kind of try to mute it with the third finger. So those are your options. Um, the um, strumming, sorry about the strumming. So like I, cause this is what it sounds, it sounds like it's with the fingers to me on the record. So that's what I did. There's a lot of options. You could obviously do it with a pick. Um, I'm kind of trying to do this kind of thing. Like my, I sort of start with my thumb playing the low strings, and then I kind of do a up, down, and on the down, I kind of give it a little. This is with my my index finger. So thumb up, down, right, and that down, I try to kind of snap the strings a little bit to get that. That's like beat two. One. I kind of get that little backbeat on beat two. So the, the, the kind of general strumming pattern I was doing was like thumb, up, down, up, up, down, up, thumb, up, down, up, up, down, up, thumb, up, down, up, up, down, up, thumb, right? Does that make sense? So it's just thumb and index. And you see how I'm, I'm trying to get those downs to be a little bit of like a, like a percussive sound. So sometimes, and sometimes you can let that that finger or other fingers kind of pluck some strings. You know what I mean? Like so, sometimes I'd go, you know, mix in some picking. It kind of gives it a nice, nice feel. There's no rules. There's no rules. Um, okay, the verse is just C for two bars, and then G for one bar, and then F for one bar, and then back to G for one bar. Back to F for one bar, and then G for two bars. That's the whole verse. And the chorus is just F for two bars, and then C for two bars, and then G for one bar, and F for one bar, and C for two bars. Just goes verse, chorus, goes right into the first verse. Verse, chorus, verse, 
chorus, verse, chorus, and the last chorus is a double chorus. <laughs> around with your switching too like sometimes I would like switch when I go to the F like I would go um, right here if you kind of put your F down kind of like right on the beat you can get that nice hammer on which brings me to this topic of how you know ways you can spice up this song there's obviously like multiple guitars on there so you can get those kind of hammer ons Play around. Play around with your picking. Um, another thing is you can play the whole song with a capo, where's my capo, at the fifth fret, and then you play it in G. Again, I'll have these chords on my on my thing, but um, so then it becomes in G. So the chords become G, C, and D, right? So you get around with this if you have a friend to play with have one of you play it in this key and one of you play it in C without the capo it's a very beautiful sound okay hopefully that gets you started on this song and let me know if you have any questions or confusions or comments or suggestions or um, other things to say please leave them in the comments and I hope you're having a delightful day or night